Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds. Recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing system, a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment to moment basis. And while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you on the bright side. We welcome your calls at 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products or truth skin health products, formulations, ingredients, something you may have heard about or read about, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have a success story you'd like to share or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, you can head to brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com, and you can purchase products right off the website. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website as well, or you can call the Brightside Ben team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. And of course, if you want to check out our Truth Skin Health products, including our Truth 5% Retinol Gel made with 5% Retinol as well as Vitamin C, no preservatives, fragrances, oils, silicones, waxes, emulsifiers, water, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Skin Health products. You only pay for what your skin uses. You only pay for what your skin wants. You only pay for what your skin can benefit from. And that's why I call my products the truth because the truth is you shouldn't have to pay for ingredients that your skin isn't dealing with or isn't using. You can find out all about our skin health products at truthtreatments.com. That's truthtreatments.com. Okay, we have been spending lots of time talking about the connective tissue and for good reason. This is really when the disease process shows up, in many ways it's showing up at the connect, in the connective tissue and certainly when the aging process shows up, the, the hunched over appearance, the thinning of the muscles or the thinning of the bones, the thinning of the skin, all of this is related to the connective tissue. The connective tissue along with the muscle is the bulk of what is us. 70 to 80 percent of what is us is the connective tissue and the muscle tissue and many if not most of our chronic degenerative diseases, particularly autoimmune diseases and inflammatory diseases, affect the connective tissue. Medical term, by the way, for these kinds of diseases, which include arthritis and scleroderma and lupus and gout and uh, ankylosing spondylitis, atherosclerosis, heart disease. The technical term for these kinds of diseases is rheumatism. You may have heard that. They, they don't use it as much anymore. It's kind of an old-time medical term, rheumatism. These, these kinds of illnesses are generally, generally referred to as rheumatic diseases, although I, you don't really hear that term as much anymore. The aging process itself is in many ways a form of rheumatism, as it shows up mostly in the connective tissue. The visible signs of aging are connective tissue, are connective tissue based. The connective tissue forms the scaffolding of what makes us up. It's the framework, it's the body's framework and the rest of the body kind of hangs on the connective tissue. Just, if you can imagine the way flesh hangs on our skeleton, bones by the way are a form of connective tissue, the way our flesh hangs on our skeleton is kind of a classic example of how we hang 
on our connective tissue. Our body hangs or is suspended on our connective tissue. There's a, I've been watching this building go up across the street from my office, and uh, I watched it from literally I, I, for the last couple of years they've been building this building, and I, it was really fascinating how they built it. The first thing they built was this framework, this, this steel frame, and that's kind of like the connective tissue. And afterwards, everything, the, the rooms and the drywall and the windows and the doors and the rest of the building kind of hangs or hung on the skeleton, on this framework, and this is kind of how we're built as well. Our bodies hang on this framework, hang on the scaffolding that we call connective tissue. I often talk about, as you know if you've heard, listened to this program or seen my presentations, I often talk about the body structure as being similar to raisin bread, where the raisins are the cells and the bread is the stuff. The stuff of our bodies. Well, the stuff is secreted from the cells. The cells make the stuff. In this, in this model, the bread is not just stuff, it's the connective tissue. Connective tissue is our bread. The fibers, especially the collagen, which is most of the fibers and the sugar and sugar protein molecules that make up the jelly substance that surrounds the fibers, this whole thing is the bread. It's called the matrix. That's technically what it's called. Literally, it's called the matrix. Actually, it's called the extracellular matrix, meaning the matrix that's outside of the cells. And this is the bread. The connected tissue is our bread. The cells uh, are the cell. The raisins are our cells. Here's something else really fascinating about the connective tissue. We've been spending a lot of time talking about how the connective tissue links everything up. It's the, it's the scaffolding. It's the framework. But here's something else really interesting about this extracellular matrix or the connective tissue. It's not just a scaffolding, and it's not just a framework, even though that's what we spent so much time talking about, and that's kind of intuitive that the connective tissue is sort of a, a, a skeleton that everything hangs on. But even more interestingly and fundamentally and, and very relevant when it comes to our health, this bread, this connective tissue, this extracellular matrix is not just a skeleton. It's not just a framework. It is a substance that feeds and oxygenates and nourishes and detoxifies the cells. Remember, all disease is cell disease, and all cell disease is starvation, suffocation, and toxification. And this extracellular matrix, this bread, is what is responsible for feeding the cells. The food, that is the nutrients that the cell eats, are delivered via the bread. And same with the oxygen. And when the cell cleans itself out, the toxins are drained out of this extracellular matrix, out of this connective tissue. So the connective tissue is not just a framework. It's not just a skeleton. It's literally the substance that feeds the cells. It's the substance that breathe, breathes the cells, and it's the substance that detoxifies the cells. Yes, I know we think of the blood this way, but it actually the blood, which of course is connective tissue itself, the blood doesn't touch the cells. The blood is near the cells. It's close to the cells, but the nutrients have to diffuse out of the blood into the connective tissue, into the extracellular matrix. They kind of diffuse in, and then they get into the cells. The, the cells don't touch the blood. The blood doesn't touch the cells. The extracellular matrix, the bread, the connective tissue is the, is the medium through which these nutrients flow through. And it's all and oxygen as well. And also it's where uh, it's how toxins are drained out of the cell. This is very, very important when it comes to disease and when it comes to aging because you can see, if you understand that this extracellular matrix, this, this bread, this connective tissue is the medium through which the nutrients flow, you can see how if the connective tissue, the, the, the extracellular matrix gets all clogged up, you're going to have a problem. Fibrosis, the formation of fibers which basically clog up this bread, this connective tissue, this extracellular matrix, it keeps nutrients from getting into the cells. It keeps oxygen from getting into the cells, and it keeps toxins from leaving the cells. Can you see, or it keeps toxins from being drained away from the cells. Can you see how incredibly important this connective tissue, this extracellular matrix is. There is a major connection between the disease process, the aging process, and a clogging up of this bread, this extracellular matrix. And that's why strategies that help clear out the connective tissue or help, help prevent the connective tissue from getting clogged up are so important when it comes to anti-aging. This is why glucosamine and, and chondroitin and the glucogel caps and vitamin C and uh, other nutrients, the raw, uh, bone broth protein, other nutrients that build connective tissue are so important, maybe the most important nutrients for helping stave off the aging process. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. All right, we are back 
right side. 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time. If you like what you hear, tell your friends. And, of course, you can get us 24-7 on the archive page at brightsideben.com, also benfuchsarchives.com. You can purchase longevity products off the website, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, and pharmacistben.com. And you can purchase our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. If you're looking at our, our uh, Truth Treatments website, we've got a blog up there as well. We've got new uh, uh, skin health posts on truthtreatments.com. If you're looking at the four products, our Truth 5% Retinol Gel, Truth Serum, Truth Balm, and Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and you're not sure which product to get first, I highly recommend you start off with the, our Truth Serum, which is probably my most potent and well-rounded product. It's uh, pretty multifunctional. You could use it for healing. You could use it for anti-aging. It's certainly going to be the most effective moisturizer you've ever used. Skin hydrator. It'll soften the surface of the skin as well as give you long-term benefits. That's because it's a huge, huge dose of fat-soluble vitamin C. Of course, there's no preservatives or fragrances or fillers or waxes or emulsifiers or oils or silicon or anything your skin doesn't need or doesn't want. I suggest you start off with our Truth Serum and you can find out all about it at truthtreatments.com. Truthtreatments.com. Okay, our number 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products or anything we're talking about here today, talking about connective tissue specifically, reading from the journal Arsne Mittelforschung. Yes, that is what this thing is called. Arsne Mittelforschung. It's a, a German journal. Um, I don't read German, but this was translated into English. Age-dependent changes in connective tissue. Researchers concluded that the aging of connective tissue is of special importance in the aging of organs. This is because this whole idea of the bread being a, a source of nourishment for the cells of those organs. The, electro, the extracellular matrix feeds the cells of the organs. This is why, according to researchers from... Uh, uh, from Germany, quoted in Osne Mittelforschung, the connective tissue aging of organs is one of the reasons why the frequency of diseases increases with aging, and diseases uh, are grafted more strongly on aging cells, tissues, organs, and organisms. In other words, what they're telling you here is it's the extracellular matrix, i.e. the connective tissue, that messes everything up when we get older. And now you understand why, at least partially why. There's a lot of reasons why. We're going to talk about the electrical nature of the, electro, of the ECM, the extracellular matrix. The connective tissue is electrical. It stores electrical charges. This is a, an amazing aspect of the connective tissue. It is literally an electrical battery. It's an information processor. It's a computer. This is the most high-tech science fiction. You can't even, a science fiction writer couldn't even come up with this, couldn't even think of this. Uh, the, uh, the computer information processing electrical nature of our connective tissue. We're going to spend a lot of time talking about that. Uh, but right now I want you to understand that the, electric, the extra cellular matrix, the bread, the connective tissue, whatever you want to call it, is not just a scaffolding. It's not just a framework. It is the medium through which cells are fed and oxygenated and detoxified. And this is really important. In the skincare business, by the way, and I've been in the skincare business for 30 plus years formulating products, this idea of connective tissue breakdown is why our skin looks yuckier as we get older. It's why we get turkey necks. It's why we get wrinkles. It's why we get fine lines. It's why our skin gets thinner. It's why an older person's skin looks significantly different than a younger person's skin. It's because the connective tissue is breaking down. And this is why I came out with my truth treatment products. If you want to stimulate the production of connective tissue, you need nutrients. This is how it works, folks. Nutrients turn on the production of connective tissue. The body uses nutrients to do it. It doesn't use herbs to do it. It doesn't use magical ingredients to do it. It just uses plain old nutrients to build the connective tissue, especially vitamin C and vitamin A. What's more, vitamin C and vitamin A can be leveraged, or the powers of vitamin C and vitamin A can be leveraged topically. That's why I came up with truth treatment products. In fact, those are the only, really the only two active ingredients you need to anti-age the skin or to slow down the aging process is vitamin A and vitamin, vitamin uh, C because these are the two major nutrients that stimulate the production of connective tissue. You can't even make connective tissue without vitamin C, by the way. 
Scurvy is a connective tissue disease, vitamin C deficiency disease. Now, scurvy is a horrible, horrible disease, but you can have subclinical scurvy. You can have scurvy that just doesn't, people don't call it scurvy because it's not dramatic. It's just subclinical. And then it just shows up as, as plaques in your arteries. Dr. Matthias Rath has written extensively about this. Uh, Matthias Rath, R-A-T-H, calling heart disease scurvy, subclinical scurvy. And he, is, he has a very good point. In the skincare business, when the, elect, uh, the extracellular matrix, the connective tissue, becomes clogged up, cells don't get fed. So not only do, uh, does skin aging involve the connective tissue in a structural, uh, from a structural perspective, skin aging also involves the connective tissue from a nourishment perspective. Once the connective tissue becomes clogged, the skin cells don't get nourished. The skin cells don't get fed. And that means you're not going to uh, be able to build a barrier to your skin, and that means drier skin. So working on the connective tissue with vitamin A and vitamin C can actually keep your skin from becoming dry. Because dryness triggers eczema, using vitamin A and vitamin C can in the long run help reduce the incidences of dermatitis and eczema. You can start to see here why nutrition, topical nutrition, if you understand this, the, the link between uh, the connective tissue and the extracellular matrix and the aging process and, and feeding and nourishing the cells, you can begin to see why building your connective tissue is job number one when it comes to anti-aging, when it comes to health, and when it comes to skin health as well. There are lots of ways to do it too. Vitamin C, probably the most important, but all the things we talk about when we talk about bone soup, these are connective tissue building strategies. Glucosamine and glucogel cap, same idea. And this is why bone broth and bone broth protein and bone soup and glucosamine have multiple benefits, numerous benefits. This is why the glucosamine, the glucogel caps is important for the digestive system, it's important for the skin, it's important for the cardiovascular system, it can help prevent arth atherosclerosis, it's a blood thinner, it's important for joints and bone. It has benefits for the entire body via its relationship to helping us build this extracellular matrix, i.e. connective tissue. Yesterday we talked about the cells that make the connective tissue. That's the fibroblasts. These fibroblasts are the king, in my opinion, they're the king cells in the body, arguably. But you can make a case for perhaps the immune cells. But uh, I don't know. It, it'd be hard to argue that there's a, a cell that's more important to the body than the fibroblast because the fibroblast is making the connective tissue. The, uh, the aging process itself, the aging process itself, and also stress, high levels of stress and high levels of cortisol, are connective tissue problems, and they show up as what is called fibrosis. They show up as a hardening process, and this is true about all the soft tissues and the organs of the body, particularly the lungs, the kidney, the skin, and the circulatory vessels, and the blood itself. If you had a heart attack, or if your arteries are blocked, you want to consider this to be a connective tissue issue, and you want to start using connective tissue building strategies. Now, as I said yesterday, if you're 50 or 60 years old, you've been mucking up the works, you're mucking up the system for a long period of time, you may need surgery. But our object, our, our job should be to prevent the situation. The best way to do it is to start building up your connective tissue. Use glucosamine, use EFAs, use uh, bone broth and bone broth protein. By the way, you can get our bone broth protein at brightsidehealthproducts.com. I'm Pharmacist Ben, you're listening to The Bright Side. We will be back right after this. Don't go away. Sign at Pharmacist Ben 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about anything we're talking about here today, if you're dealing with a connective tissue issue or aging or skin health problem, if you've got comment, uh, comment or success story you'd like to share with us, 844-236-6010 is your number on the bright side. Hang on, we'll get your calls in just a minute. If you're uh, on hold, we do have lines open for you at 844-236-6010. Reading from the journal, can't, oh, actually, uh, I want to tell you, well, we'll talk about, we'll continue talking about heart disease tomorrow uh, and the whole relationship to connective tissue, according to Matthias Rath, and also Linus Pauling, uh, brilliant, M many of you guys have heard of Linus Pauling, one of the most brilliant biochemists of the, uh, uh, for, uh, I was going to say the 20th century, but really one of the most brilliant biochemists that ever lived, really. Uh, Linus Pauling was very, very definitive about his uh, about uh, his belief that it is a 
vitamin C, heart disease is a vitamin C issue via the fact that vitamin C is important for the building of connective tissue. According to Dr. Pauling, it is, and, and Matthias Rath, and me, it is a repair issue. What happens is, is that the arteries the, in the heart break down and cholesterol acts as a grout to patch it up, to patch up the breakdown. According to Dr. Pauling, plaque only forms in areas of, of the artery that have become damaged, just as cracks form in a garden hose. Another finding of Linus Pauling is that plaque deposits are not, they don't just show up randomly throughout the circulatory system. Plaque usually, in fact, it always forms nearest the heart where the blood vessels and the, and the arteries are really working hard. This is where the most stretching occurs. And then that's why you get the cholesterol plaques. All right, we'll continue talking about this tomorrow. There's a lot to talk about here, you guys, lots and lots. In fact, health in, in many ways, health is connective tissue, and connective tissue is health, and there's lots of reasons for that. We'll continue talking about this tomorrow. From the journal Cancer Research, emulsifiers can change your intestinal bacteria in a manner that promotes inflammation and colorectal cancer. And I've often talked about this in the world of skin care. Emulsifiers, as we, sp we spent a lot of time talking about emulsifiers five or six months ago, uh, back in back in July or so, uh, emulsifiers are, are chemicals that bring oil and water together, and they're found in foods, and they're found in skincare products. And I hate them, and you should stay away from them. And that's why I don't formulate with emulsifiers, well, unless I absolutely, absolutely have to. But I, I try to avoid it. Our true skin health products don't have emulsifiers in them. Emulsifiers are very active chemicals. They're pulling oil and water together to make a food more, uh, to make a food more palatable, or to make a skincare product more. I suppose more stable to bring oil and water together, but they're not good for your skin and they're not good for your body. According to this article published in, in uh, cancer research, they are associated with cancer in mice. Uh, in, according to the study, uh, team fed mice with two very commonly used emulsifiers, one called polysorbate, which you'll see in a lot of skincare products. And uh, researchers observed that consuming these emulsifiers, which are found in ice cream and chocolates and various foods, uh, mice who consume these emulsifiers drastically changed the species composition of their gut bacteria in a manner that made them more pro-inflammatory and pro-disease. Stay away from emulsifiers. Uh, of course, using them topically is not going to be as significant as eating them, but you know what? They're not good topically either, and there's no need for them. The only reason they're in there is so, you can, so a company can sell you a cheap product. They're not there for you. They're there for the company. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. Let's go to Spencer in Toronto. Good morning, Spencer. What's up, buddy? Hi, Ben. How you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Um, I'm calling about my uncle. Okay. I've got a topic that I haven't, I don't think I've heard anybody call in to your show and ask about before, and that's restless leg syndrome. Oh, yeah. That's just a made-up made up name. Restless leg syndrome is, is just when your legs are jittery. It has to do with stress hormone. has to do with mineral deficiencies. Uh, it has to do with problem. It usually happens at night for folks. Uh, is, it, is that the kind of deal he has at night where his, his legs just get all jittery and jumpy and crampy? Yeah, and it happens at night, and then he has trouble sleeping. Yeah, it's associated with stress hormone cortisol. It's associated with mineral deficiency, and there's probably an aspect of uh, of diabetes. It's a symptom. It's a sign of the body of the body breaking down. So first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you're flooding his body with electrical nutrients. Electrical nutrients, the B complex and the electrolytes like potassium and calcium and magnesium, those are used by the muscles to contract. Contraction, neural contraction is a electrical phenomenon. A neuromuscular contraction is a electrical phenomena. When you have restless leg syndrome, these contractions are happening randomly. Like the electrical energy is kind of sparking. Instead of flowing smoothly, it's, it's throwing off sparks. And that's what causes the restless legs. Now, there's also an aspect of stress hormone involved too. So first thing you want to do is you want to flood the body with these electrolytes and, and electrical nutrients, the B vitamins and also vitamin C. That's the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. And that's what the Beyond Tangy Tangerine really is. It's an electrical drink. Now, yeah, there's some vitamin A and vitamin E and fat-soluble nutrients in there. And, of course, there's all the plant-derived plant -derived phytonutrients in there, too. But you, the best way to think of your Beyond Tangy Tangerine is, an, is as an electrical beverage, a, an electrical nutrient beverage. So 
anytime you have an electrical problem, whether it's cardiovascular, heart, or whether it's brain, or whether it involves energy or the immune system or the skin, of course, the body is electrical. So lots of things are going to be, lots of health challenges are going to involve the electrical system. You want to think about electrical nutrients and electrical drinks. So the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, also vegetable juices can also be helpful for him. He might want to do some vegetable juice before he goes to bed, by the way. I would say Beyond Tangy Tangerine, if he could do a little BTT before he goes to bed, that might be helpful. But sometimes people will get a little amped up from the BTT. So we'll have to see how he does. If he gets amped up from the BTT, go with veggie juices. Also a little magnesium before he goes to bed can help too. Uh, and also uh, just some straight B complex before he goes to bed, okay? The okay. next thing that he, uh, the next thing you want to do is you want to keep the cortisol levels down. Melatonin can help balance his cortisol, so have him do a melatonin or two before he goes to bed. That is three to six milligrams of melatonin. I like the sublingual melatonin, um, and and then also anything he could do to, to to lower cortisol mentally and emotionally, and also breathing, slow deep breathing before he goes to bed. That can help as well. So think electrical nutrients, especially before he goes to bed, but all, you know during the day too, but especially before he goes to bed, slow deep breathing. Uh, uh, and then some melatonin as well. Looks sounds like cortisol issues and also electrolytes, uh, and okay. B complex too. Does that help? And I'm, and I'm guessing that um, like high blood pressure is related. All to related, yes, it's sir. All related. They yeah. all come together. They all work together. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, Spencer. Okay, thanks. thanks for your call. Appreciate it. Okay. Thanks. Have a good day in in Toronto. Love Toronto, by the way. I am a big big fan of Toronto. Okay, got lines open, 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. Let's go to California and welcome Andre to the bright side. What's up, Andre? Hey, good morning, Ben. Thank you for everything you do. Follow up. Awesome. What's going on? I appreciate Thank you for thanking me. Yeah, I talked to you before. Uh, regarding my wife, she has uh, MS the last five years. She's been diagnosed with MS. Her feet uh, got, uh, started getting numb six months ago. Now it's her fingers. Uh, she went to the doctor the other day. They told her it was well, maybe carpal tunnel. So well, what the heck? Then. Well, don't worry about the diagnosis. Basically, she's falling apart, dude. Uh, how How old is she? She's fifty. Fifty, uh, you say? Yeah, fifty years old. Hey, I gotta take a break, Andre. We'll finish up when we come back. But speak. I need you to speak either into the phone or I'm not sure if you're on the speaker. But I'm having a hard time hearing you. So hang on. We'll take a commercial and then we'll come back and finish up with, with uh, Andre from California. And we do have lines open at 844-236-6010. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to the Bright Side. We will, will be back right after this. Okay, we're back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. We're off in California talking to Andre. Hello, Andre, you there? Yes, I am, and I got my earpiece off my... Uh, from okay, my good. I'm, uh, I'm hearing you better. So your wife has multiple sclerosis. She's 50, you said? Yes, 50 years old, I guess. Okay, when did she... Yeah. When? How long has she had this disease? Or been diagnosed? Yeah, she got diagnosed about five, six years ago. Okay, let me and, ask you a couple uh, questions. How long have you been married, Andre? Uh, 2005 years. Six years. Basically. Okay, so six years. So you, you didn't know her before she had her MS, basically. You didn't, you just met her as she was breaking down. So I was going to ask you a couple questions. Is she there by any chance? No, she's not. Does she have, maybe you know this, maybe you don't. Did she have a history of other health challenges? Now, you may not know the answer to that because, you know, you only, you've only known her five or six years, and she may not even have, have known. I'm, I'm just wanted uh, No, for, I don't think so. I've, I've known her since 2003, actually. No uh, digestive health okay. issues, no blood issues, nothing else? No, no. Okay, I'm telling you, Andre, guaranteed they're there. And the reason this is important is because you want to recognize the degenerative nature of the disease. In other words, it gradually shows up. The body degenerates and then it hits a critical mass like a straw that breaks the camel's back. And this is important if you're going to reverse it. You follow me? It's important to yeah. know because then you'll be able to track. You'll be, if you can track its progress, then you can reverse it. You can see how you're going backwards in time, basically. You follow me? If you think, oh, I was just sitting around watching TV and I got multiple sclerosis, then you're going to miss, you're going to miss the progression and it's going to be harder to logically reverse the process. So you're, okay. what, you want to consider any kind of autoimmune issue, what multiple sclerosis is, is as a, a, a digestive condition first. This is how the body, this is how toxins enter into the blood, first and foremost. By the way, if you're wondering how our model of disease via the extracellular matrix plays, up, plays into multiple sclerosis, 
just think of fibrosis. Sclerosis is a hardening. That's what sclerosis means, like atherosclerosis, hardening of the arteries. Multiple sclerosis is hardening of the, hardening of the nerve cells. You've got a fibrosis, and it's not even in the nerve cells per se. It's actually in the extracellular matrix that surrounds the nerve cells. The nerve cells don't get fed. They don't get oxygenated. They don't get uh, detoxified because of these scars, these connective tissue fiber scars that surround the nerve cells. Follow me? So the, yeah. the body's repairing itself in, in an excess amount. Of, this is what a fibrosis is. The body's repairing itself. So the question is, why did it get damaged in the first place? It didn't get damaged because, you know, angels sprinkle dust on your head. You know what I mean? It didn't get damaged randomly. It got damaged because of something that got into the system. How do things get into the system? We eat them. You follow me, Andre? Yes, thank you. Okay, so I'm not saying, I'm not hitting the food here issue and the digestive tract issue really hard because I'm a health nut. You know, I'm not Mr. Diet Guy at all. But the fact is, is that if you've got a fibrotic condition or a sclerotic condition, which multiple sclerosis is, if you have an autoimmune condition, you're dealing with an offending agent. The offending agent is largely, 99% of the time, going to be something that we're eating. Food elimination, uh, first of all, fast for a couple of days. That always helps MS symptoms, by the way. And fasting improves multiple sclerosis symptomology. And you, if you understand what I just said, it makes perfect sense why that would be. For those of you guys who can't do a fast, do a Swero V cleanse. Half a bottle of Swero V every hour. Swero V is an incredibly easy to absorb electrolyte fermented uh, whey drink formulated by Jordan Rubin and it's an awesome product and you don't have to do a Swero V cleanse by the way to benefit from the Swero V it makes a great little pick me up beverage in the middle of the day it's very filling and it's very satisfying it can help you with weight loss help you with brain fog issues help you with energy issues and, of course, it can help you if you uh, get over a fast or help you accomplish a fast if you're having a hard time fasting. So either a fast or swear V cleanse, first and foremost. Second step, get your notebook out and do a food diary. Now, Andre, I've talked to you in the past, so if she's still got the MS, that sounds to me like she's not playing ball here. You know what I mean? She's not participating. Yeah. Is she on board or no? Uh, no, really. <laughs> I appreciate your honesty. That's cute. Why are we not on board, Andre? Help me understand. Why, why do you think the human beings, not just your wife, let's just, talk, let's just talk philosophically here. You sound like a smart guy. Why are human beings not on board? Well, I am on board. She's no, no. In general, why is the human race, not your wife, not you, why is humanity not on board with these ideas? Uh, I think sometimes they, they have some other... Uh, uh, they believe something else, you know. They have limiting beliefs, I guess. Limiting beliefs. Okay, I like that. It is. I, I I believe it is our beliefs. You know, I have a belief about beliefs that we need to be working on our beliefs, and I don't talk about that anywhere near enough. But when I run into patients, and I do all the time with MS or autoimmune issues or skin health issues, I, I ran into a lady with this awful skin condition on her hand. It, it was the most hideous, scariest thing. It, it, her hand was like. It was like a dead hand. The skin was all crusty, and, and it, it, you, could, you could see the red, red dermis underneath. And it was just this awful hand, which is a classic sign of a, an autoimmune issue or a fat metabolism issue. And I gave her a whole protocol. A couple months later, I saw her, and she didn't even, she didn't even touch the protocol. She didn't do anything with it. And I thought to myself, what is, why are people, why are we stuck in this, in this idea, or, or why are we stuck with our health challenges, and, and we don't want to participate in these ideas? And you're right, it's limiting beliefs. And also, yeah. it's a fear of change. And these are the fundamental ideas when it comes to health. Not nutrition, not diet, not the mighty 90 essential nutrients even. It's our beliefs. I can give you all the information here, folks, and I'm, I'm willing to do it, and I will do it. I'll do it till the day I die. But you got to bring belief to the table. you got to bring willingness. Well, first you got to bring belief to the table, and then you bring willingness. Willingness follows belief. you got to believe that yeah. this is so. Okay, so anyway, I'm going, to give, I'm going to give you the whole protocol because there's other people listening, but you know, whether your wife takes, on, takes it on or not, I don't know. But I'm going to give you the whole protocol. Food first. Food diary. T 
Typically, fat metabolism is going to be involved. Fats are harder to process than water-soluble nutrients. So usually there's an aspect of, uh, of, of fat, either fat deficiency or uh, problems absorbing or utilizing fats. And by fats, I mean fatty vitamins. D is, is incredibly important for multiple sclerosis. In fact, multiple sclerosis has been associated with a belt that runs across the United States where people get low vitamin, have low vitamin D levels. They call it the multiple sclerosis belt. So vitamin D, very, very important. Vitamin E can be helpful. Vitamin A as well as vitamin K also can be helpful. Make sure she's eating cholesterol-containing foods. Cholesterol itself is important. The body will make cholesterol, so you don't have to worry too much about eating cholesterol. But cholesterol-containing foods contain lecithin and vitamin K and vitamin A and D. They're very important for the neural system, for the brain, for the nervous system, but for general health. Uh, like uh, keep Say again, eggs are awesome. Yes, uh, organ meats, eggs, cheese, um, dairy. These are all, I call this, 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 this uh, substance the cholesterol complex because it contains cholesterol, but other substances too. Yeah, eggs would be great for her. If she can do eggs, some people can't do eggs. Uh, yeah, and they keep it, she then, well, she may not be able to do them though. Keep track, keep track of her symptoms yeah. when she eats the eggs. And then also you want to make sure she's stabilizing her sugar. That means more protein. Get her on some branched chain amino acids, BCAAs. You'll find those in whey protein, but you can also supplement with them. She may benefit from the ketogenic diet, the high-fat, low-calorie, low-carb diet. That might be something to think about. And then make sure she's oxygenating, slow, deep breathing. This is for everybody who has MS, not just Andre's wife. Slow, deep breathing, relaxing the body as much as possible. Cortisol levels will slow down healing, will exacerbate fibrosis. Same with estrogen levels will exacerbate fibrosis. Both cortisol and estrogen are associated with stress. Make sure she's eating fermented foods and probiotics. Uh, the nightly essence, estrogen is cleared via probiotic bacteria in the gut. Anything she can do to improve bile secretion and uh, the health of the liver will also help. Estrogen is also cleared via the action of bile. Use the ultimate enzymes, which contain bile, both with foods and on an empty stomach. Also, she may want to go get some Thing called lecithin granules. Get that at the health food store. Uh, the active ingredient in lecithin is something called phosphatidylserine or PTS, and sometimes that can help uh, folks who have multiple sclerosis as well. So you got tons of strategies there. Even if she just does a few of those, Andre, she'll notice symptomatic result. Uh, she'll notice results, symptomatic results. And if she does everything, I'm guaranteeing you 100%. Your wife can be a new woman. All right, and in very short order. She can be a new woman in, in 60 days if she does everything I just told you. All right, Andre, that's the end of the program. Thanks so much for your call. God bless you, my friend, and good luck with your wife, and good luck to your wife as well. All right, that's all the time we have for today on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thank you so much for listening, friends. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time. We'll, we'll be back at you tomorrow continuing talking about the connective tissue and heart disease and glucosamine, the glucogel caps, hyaluronic acid and blood thinning. And, uh, well, we'll take your phone calls as well and news stories, uh, all, the, all the fun stuff that we do on the Bright Side every day. Have yourselves a wonderful